Hey guys, what's up at Actions here and welcome back to this brand new video. And today I've got quite some work to do because tomorrow I'm going driving and the workshop looks like this. Yeah, everything is all over the place. The car is pretty much almost completely stripped down. I have to get that done before tonight. Now that really shouldn't be that much of an issue, but I also have to do some other stuff. And uh, as you guys saw in the title and thumbnail, uh, I've got something pretty special to show you guys. So let's not waste any time and let's dive right into building up this thing again. But before we start, something very important. Alright guys, so it's about an hour and a half and uh, well, it's uh, semi-built up the way I usually strip it down. So yeah, this is what it looks like now, uh, yeah, it's basically now just uh, the engine and the tires and then we're all good again. But guys, like I always say, if you are still enjoying these videos and I would appreciate it enormously if you would hit those like and subscribe buttons. For you it's only a small couple of clicks, but for me it literally means that, you know, I can chase my dream of being a YouTuber and a driver at the same time. Now at the moment of recording we are really really close to that 10k mark and I would really love to hit that within the next couple of days. So the thing I'll be giving away is this tire and it might not seem like much but I've actually signed it and written a thanks for 10k message on there. Leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me that you've subscribed and for how long you've been subscribed. So if you've done both of those things you are officially entered and I can see when you've already done one of them so please make sure to do both of them. And then after I reach 10k I will pick a random winner and I'll get this ship to you. So if you want to enter the giveaway you know what you gotta do. Anyways I'm going to take a little bit of a break now. I'm going to finish the card off camera. I get the cameras charged again because well the GoPro nearly uh, ran out of battery when I did that. And then when I get back we'll be cleaning up all of of this mess and then we'll be back with the time lapse again so you can see me cleaning up the entire workshop all right guys so i've just had some food i've almost finished building up the cart so that's something i have to do off camera again but it's only a few minor things that you guys have already seen now it is time to get into the meat of this video the unboxing of the two thousand dollars worth of cart parts now before we go unbox that i have to say that this video is sponsored by k racing which is the uh, danish official esprit dealer they've been generous enough to send me some parts for free and i really really appreciate that and they will actually be sponsoring me for this entire season and for you guys i know most of you are drivers as well we have some awesome awesome discount codes for you coming very soon so stay tuned on the channel Go have a look on his website already, the link will be down there in the description below, but you can pretty much guarantee that the prices you are going to get are going to be cheaper than what they have on the site right now. So go down there, have a look, maybe order some things if you need something already, but uh, keep in mind that in the future you will get some huge discount codes. So again, a massive, massive thank you to K-Racing and uh, well, you'll hear more of that in the future. But now, let's unbox all the goodies. So guys, let's unbox this thing. You guys ready? More cardboard. Okay, again. You guys ready? Boom. Let's see what we have in here. First of all, we have this. Which is a helmet bag by OMP, which I still needed, you know, for the uh, for, for the for, you know for the good helmet. I only have my old one, but let's put that to the side for now. We have two extra balaclavas, which I needed because well having only one kind of sucks, you have to keep washing it all the time. Okay, let's look at this small little box here. Let's see what this is. This is... Ah, these are all the... Uh, I actually ordered five sets of, of uh, numbers, which are of course uh, needed because, well, they tend to, uh, you know, get destroyed in the races. So that's good. Here we have a set of brake pads, which, uh, well, I, I need those. I need those. I need those because, yeah, I chew through them quite quickly. We have some extra wheel nuts because the ones I have right now are like several years old which is uh, well not ideal so uh, yeah it's great to have some new ones and we have some spare kingpins which uh, i i've heard that the otk ones actually they tend to break sometimes so yeah it's always nice to have some of these uh, extra all right next get rid of this plastic next we have some front fairing clips which i needed because if you guys know the ones i currently have they tend to uh, you know I, I tend to get quite a lot of front fairing clips, so that's always good so let's put these to the side for now then we have some bubble wrap which is always nice but in here we have here we have a torsion bar i think let's see i think it is let's remove this actually packages up pretty well wait yeah there we go you know what never mind let's keep it in there for now so uh 
Yeah, I'll unbox all of this later. In here, I don't actually know what these are. I think these are two more track rods, but uh, I'm not really that sure. Yup, two track rods. Always uh, good to have uh, to have a few of those in your uh, spare parts box. I have four of them now, actually. Then, next. If I actually want to drive tomorrow, I will of course need tires. And because the only tires I have right now are absolutely dead, I have some new ones right here, which I have to unpack carefully. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get all of these uh, Cheetos out of here. There are quite a lot of them in here. Wow, wow, wow. Let's put this one here, like that. And the last front tire. Oh, there's some things in here as well. Let's see if we can carefully get it out. Oh yes, I see what's in there. Good. One set of Mojo D5 tires, so I can drive tomorrow. All right, next. We have these two longer wheel hubs, which are, uh, they, these are for the rain. Uh, they make your axle a little bit shorter so that you will have, you know, more turn in. Which is very, it's very nice to have those. So let's put those to the side too. Here we have two other sets of brake pads. This really helps me, man. I, <laughs> words cannot describe how, how grateful I am for, for all of this, man. Really, just go check out their website. I, I, I cannot say anything else. And then the most important part of all of these things, the rims. Let's see what these ones are. Right, so let's have a look. They are rims for in the wet, aka the AXP rims. Now, as you can see, they have the same color as the standard OTK MXJ rims, which are over there behind the uh, set of Car Republic rims. But uh, yeah, I really needed these ones because I only had one set of uh, wet rims, so these really come in handy. Are you guys ready? Boom. Brand new OTK MXC rims. This is like, I'm getting a little bit emotional, guys. It's it's uh, like it's only stuff, but you know it it helps me a lot. I and I, I really mean that. I, I words cannot express how grateful I am for all of this. Let's you know let let's let's just unbox them all. By the way, look at how clean these things look, guys. It's almost like it's a completely different rim. Oh my god. These ones belong to the MXC rims. Okay, good. So that's everything. Let's clean it up a bit. Yeah, guys, I think it's pretty clear, but uh, yeah, big, big shout out to K Racing. I've got everything uh, set up nicely now. Wait, let me show you. Yeah, guys, just look at all of this stuff. Uh, I just can't really put in words how, how grateful I am for all of this. This will really make the difference in terms of budget for me in the long run. So yeah, big shout out to K Racing. Go, go check out the web shop. You, you you will help me, but you will also help him, and he deserves it too. And I'm I'm not showing this to you guys to you know flex with it. I'm just showing this so that you guys know that you can do this too. Like I, I'm just a normal dude from the Netherlands. I like karting, and I I work for it. And I know it's it's it, maybe it's easier for me to say because I've already been doing this, but it's it's possible if you have a little bit of a less budget and you want to do racing. It, it is possible. You just have to you know do some different things than most people. And if you really try hard enough, it works. But uh, yeah, that's enough of that for now. Let's continue up with cleaning up. I actually still have to build up the cars a little bit, so I'll do that. And when I'm done doing that, uh, well, we'll switch to the time lapse of me cleaning up the workshop. So, let's go. Guys, so the workshop is now as cleaned up as it has to be in order for me to, you know, pack all of my stuff. And a lot of you guys are actually wondering how I got all of my stuff done. Because if you didn't know, my workshop is actually on the second floor. Or first floor if you're from the UK. Um, because, well, let me just show you. Boom. There we go. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys how I get all of my stuff down right about now. Okay guys, so welcome back to the first person view. Uh, well, I'll just show you how to get all of my stuff down. Here's the door. Open the door. Then you just throw all the stuff down there. No, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, here we have this thing. I don't know what this is called in English. In Dutch we call it a pallet, but I don't know if it's if that's actually the name in English as well. Just put it here. And then really it's just a case of putting all of my stuff on this thing and then using that forklift which is down there. Get all of it down. So, first get this trolley. Boom. Boom. Lift it up a little bit. Put that on here. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, hey guys, fun story. Uh, we used to have one of these flight cases, but then like a flat one for all of the tires and stuff and the axles. But uh, yeah, I accidentally pushed it down there once and then it dropped down and it's a, I think it's about a three meter drop. So the flight case was totaled, but luckily uh, the things inside didn't sustain any damage. Only one axle got a little bit bent, but uh, that was it. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah, sometimes I do have my, uh, my uh, mess ups. And that was one of them. Probably one of the biggest ones I had so far. Let's get this one back. La 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 la. Put it here. And here we go. And what's interesting now, guys, uh, we've actually got two platforms to put more stuff on. So I usually put tires without rims on here and tires with rims on there. Uh, now, the reason for that is that uh, these ones tend to be a little bit wobbly, but if tires without rims, you know, fall, that's not really a problem. Also, pro tip for you guys, always, always bring wets. Even if the forecast says 0% chance of rain, always bring them. It's not really that much of an effort at all to bring them, but it can save you a lot of pain in the ass. And let's take the used wets. These ones are really dead. Look at those front tires. That's what you get when you start pushing in the wet. These things just start shredding. Let's get these two. You can carry those with one hand. And let's get the tire press. This one goes here. And then we can put the new set of tires on there. So now comes the fun part. Actually using the foregrip. So let's turn it on. There we go. Let's aim for the hole. Okay, good. Let's now turn it up a little bit again. We got it. Let's go back. Okay, let's put it in the van. This thing's actually quite heavy if you're can if you can hear it. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I don't know if you're able to see anything. Alright, so it's pretty dark in here. Let's add my phone here so that we can get some light. Yeah, you still can't see shit, can you? Uh, let's see if I can add some more light. Okay, what if I add it here? Does that help? Anything at all? Yeah, a little bit. I think it's fine. Okay, let's start loading. Trolleys. Turn it around. And then we actually have to wedge it into that corner so that we like squeeze the table onto, onto the wall. That way it really cannot fall because it's secured over here and over here with this thing. Spare rear axle, let's put that here for now. Let's get the tent out of the way because we actually need this big canvas right here because we're actually going to be with two drivers tomorrow. There we go. Uh, wheels, we need to bring those because tomorrow it's going to be actually a little bit cold, so maybe these rims will be quicker. Let's put that on the rim so that they won't fall. Put that on there. A nice chair as well, just one, once enough. Oh wait, I remember more stuff that I have to bring. Let's take my little camping stoves, because if you guys didn't know, I think I'd never showed that before. But uh, yeah, I usually always fry up some eggs when I'm at the track. It's nice, it's convenient, it's cool, and it saves you a lot of money from canteen food. That's why I always go to the supermarket before I go drive, just to get some eggs and bacon and stuff. Really good. Nice chair, wheels. All right guys, so now I'm going to show you how I actually get the cart itself down. It's actually really simple. So here we are, let's push it to the door. Let's position it properly so that we can actually pick it up with the forks. Something like that should do. Yeah, so now it's time to actually use a forklift. So the thing that I usually do is, uh, you see these forks here, they actually have to latch onto this thing part of the trolley, and then it's just fine. Then we have to tighten these screws, which already are properly tightened. That's the wrong way, let's tighten them. Also have to make sure that these things are the right way up, so that it doesn't catch onto this, but uh, that it catches onto the frame. Move it a little bit forwards. Yes, there we go. Now, if we move it up, we should be able to pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. And guys, there we go. That's how I get my cart down. All right, so this is the most difficult part, and that's actually getting the cart into the van by yourself. Uh, yeah, you usually need someone else for this, but if you just lift it and be a strong guy, you can usually lift it in here by yourself. 
Oh. Remove the trolley with your feet. Come on, go. There we go. Now push it in. There we go. With a little argy bargy, we have successfully loaded the cart. Now to make sure that it doesn't start rolling around in the van while we're driving, get yourself an old tire. With one hand, grab the cart and lift it up. Ugh. With the other hand, put the tire underneath the engine. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to leave this episode here. There's only a few small things you need to put in there, like food and all my clothes and stuff. But you know, guys know what that looks like. Anyways, if you enjoyed it, then I would appreciate it enormously if you would hit those like and subscribe buttons, like I always say. So tomorrow I will be testing at the Lansart, which is, uh, well, one of my least favorite tracks, but we have to go there. And of course, I'll be making a vlog of that as well. So you'll probably see that later in this week that I upload it. If this is the first video you see of this channel, then I recommend it strongly to check out this playlist. Here there are videos of me taking my car to the track and more videos like this one. But for now, that was it. Peace.